Hello everybody, it's JC on the Humans Win channel, and I'm just going to continue on talking about my view of this story of the massacre in Sandy Hook, and just by looking at this this family, um, the Parker family, and it's pretty much the only person who got any attention was the Parker family, and it's like where to start. I left off saying that. You know, the, it was a 666, basically symbolism, purposely put in the remembrance of this massacre. And it just seems so satanic in nature. So I'm showing you this picture because not too many people have even said it. Look at the way the little girl is, is, is doing her fingers. And this is a family portrait. A family, a good family portrait portraiture would not even put this up its purpose um, a family posing like this they must have took at least you know 30 40 shots and they chose this one and I've never in my life seen a kid suck their fingers or thumb or anything like this it is beyond bizarre beyond unusual and it would be a way of making the devil sign and <laughs> you even just try that and I, I don't even want to get into like why kids shouldn't even be doing that with their fingers. You're not even supposed to be sucking your fingers, especially in a family portrait. And the kid was doing it again and again. So I could just not let it go to think, look, she's doing it again. It's hard to see. This is from the Daily Mail. She's doing it again. It's the most bizarre thing I've seen a kid do with their hand. Now someone that mentioned they're like, yeah, man, that's a little demonic girl. Well, guess what? When you're that age, you don't decide anything. There's no way that Parker... The mother and father did not teach their daughter. This man right here did not teach their daughter to do that. Now, why on earth would you teach your kid to do a satanic symbol like that? To me, it's just a satanic psyop from top to bottom. And that is a satanic hub, as other people have noticed. Newton, Connecticut is like the head satanic place. Now, what I'm going to do is show you... I did a little digging around, and when you just, because I want to say Satanism in Connecticut, this came up. Now, this is a newsletter, and explaining, like, it starts at the top, what is the Church of Satan, and let me make sure you can see the top, good. And it's just a newsletter, so I'm looking through it, and it didn't seem much. It's, it's from the head of the Church of Satan. Now that LeVay's dead, there's another head, and he signs it all the way down at the end. Okay, now the Church of Satan is in San Francisco, California. Not surprisingly, it's a big city. P.O. Box 210666. This is a real newsletter sent out. But what is so telling, man, this is the smoking gun as far as this being a whole satanic thing. Because of all the towns in the world, the second biggest outpost of Satanists, basically the East Coast branch of the Church of Satan. In America, as in, that's right, way at the bottom, it's in Newton, Connecticut. I'll go ahead and take a screen capture and put this up so people can get a good look at it. Now imagine that, a small little town, practically a village, like Newtown, Connecticut, is a, is a hub of the Church of Satan. A major hub of the Church of Satan. That's why when you look at these pictures, I'll put them up at the end, of all the different little devil signs that people are doing, all the little subliminal imagery that they've shown. They're so selective of what pictures they've shown. They won't show any pictures of bullet holes, dead kids or anything, but plenty of pictures of people like that in the background. Plenty of pictures of little girls doing that with their, their fingers. Every time I've seen this kid, practically, she's been doing it. Now that picture, yeah. Guess what, Connecticut, this isn't the first time. This person here, I can barely say his name because he's some kind of, he's a Russian or Polish Jew probably. Um, his name is Komisker Jarewski and he performs satanic satanic rituals. It's actually the, probably the worst map murder until now in, in Connecticut history. And this is even longer, it's from 2007. And when you read the story, he had a mentor who allegedly saved them. His name was Abrahamian which I believe is a Jewish name too, not that that necessarily matters. The point is, when you look at this Abrahamian, he's dead now. This happened in 2007. Armin Abrahamian, a fellow parishioner at his Olivet Baptist Church in Hamden, 
He said he went there and saw the guy in the middle of a satanic ritual. Well, this person, Armin Abrahamian, is no longer even alive. So many people, it goes deep. This guy performed a, a mass ritual satanic thing. There, as far as I can tell, with no doubt, Connecticut is chock full, chock full of Satanists. And that's a smoking gun, like I said, to think that a small little town, I understand San Francisco, that's a, one of the largest, you know, cities in the entire United States, if not the world, most famous cities. I can understand why the Church of Satan has its headquarters there. But of all places to have their second outpost is little old Newton Town, Connecticut. So let there be no doubt that this is basically a satanic ritual from top to bottom. Were they actors? Did anybody die? It's going to be hard to prove one way or the other. But how about if they not necessarily actors? How about if you're just a bunch of Satanists who all got together? to do it just like Satanists do with a network. Aren't Satanists just actors in the first place? Aren't they just acting in society, pretending they're not because they have to keep that secret? At least for now, until Obama, the, the outwardly satanic president, gets his way. Anyway, this it's not a good story to tell. I do not enjoy telling this story one bit. But I just hope this helps wake somebody up. And uh, it's a smoking gun. And that's why I'm just going to put up the picture. Get that straight. Newtown, Connecticut is one of the hubs of the Church of Satan in the United States. And it's sick. I don't like Satanists. Why? Because I see it in Hollywood. I see it in politics, and I see it behind most of these mass murders. It's time for it to end, so I'm sick of telling these stories. Thanks for viewing, people. JCL, Humans 1.